Well, I do admit that this is a bit of an impromptu video, but I really did have to get this out. Valve are making a handheld Linux-powered Steam machine that can run modern AAA games, and it's called the Steam Deck. And I've got to say, this thing looks absolutely awesome and may very well be the PC gaming Nintendo Switch killer. It looks that impressive. So as you can see, we're here on the website and you can see that it's called the Steam Deck. And I've got to say, it's a really nice looking piece of hardware. It kind of has that unconventional valve look, but I've got to say, I really love it. And it looks to be definitely of a portable size. So this thing is pretty cool. And if you want it, they start shipping in December apparently, and they start Start from £349, which would make this pretty much the cheapest handheld gaming PC to date. And you know, it really is impressive that they managed to get the price that low because this thing looks awesome. As you can see, it's an all-in-one gaming PC. You can see that they've got some AAA games running really well. Apparently, they should run most modern AAA games at mid to high settings. So that is really, really impressive from a handheld. Definitely far more powerful than the Switch. And as you can see, it's powerful, comfortable, versatile, all that sort of thing. You can run your entire Steam library. So in the past, PC gaming has had loads of advantages over console gaming. And this thing really does bring those advantages to the handheld market. For instance, now you have access to pretty much every single game on Steam. So that's games from the past, games from the present, games that will never see console ports. You really do have an amazing library of games with this thing. As you can see, it's easy to use. And you can see some shots of it being used. It's Steam without compromises. So it really is a fantastic little device. And you can get it with three storage options. As you can see, you can get it with 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes. Now, I think realistically speaking, you probably do want at least 256 gigabytes with this thing because I cannot imagine using one of these with 64 gigabytes of storage. I think that's the same amount that the Switch has and the Switch really does struggle. And like I say, you're gonna be playing full AAA games on here. So if you can, definitely spring for the larger models. As you can see, it's got all sorts of cool inputs. It's got USB-C, all that sort of thing. So I assume that you can connect all sorts of accessories to it and it will actually have an official dock. So you can use this as a full PC. And there will be more on that later when we go ahead and look at the tech specs. So as you can see, there's all this cool stuff. You've got some touch pads like the Steam controller had. It kind of is a little bit like an Xbox controller with some trackpad tacked on. So like I say, this thing looks really, really cool. So you'll get some precision in like games that require precision. That's all cool. You've got all the stuff on the top, a headphone jack. Surprisingly enough, that's a feature these days. And yeah, you've got a micro SD card slot if you want to expand the storage and you have two paddles on the back. So that's really cool. Now let's talk about what kind of hardware it has. You get a AMG CPU, which is a Zen 2 apparently. It all looks fairly capable. You have a AMD GPU as well. So like I say, this is looking like it's gonna be pretty capable. It's an x86 CPU, so you can run all the PC games you would want on it. You've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM on this little handheld. That's very, very impressive. You've got all the storage options we talked about earlier. You have a 720p display, which isn't going to blow anyone away, but to be honest, on a handheld this small, doesn't need to be any bigger than that. Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi, as you would imagine. You've got a battery, which is supposed to deliver between two and eight hours of gameplay, which is actually more than the Switch. A concern I would have with something like this is that the battery wouldn't last very long since it's a full PC in there, but no, this thing lasts longer than the Switch, which really does make this very impressive. And the icing on the cake, this thing runs Arch Linux with KD Plasma. So all you Linux fans out there, myself included, will be getting full Arch Linux on this thing. So hey, if you don't know how to install Arch Linux, but you want to say I use Arch BTW, go ahead and get one of these things. So like I say, this thing looks really, really impressive. And if I can get one, I absolutely, absolutely will. But with that said, that's it for today's impromptu video. I can't wait to hear more about this thing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.